So in other words, there's no more need for you to worry about your past. If you was a person that used to swear, tonight, forget about it. God doesn't, God doesn't know you as a person that swear. And even if you have a bad, really bad past, it's all gone. I, I visited um, an old uh, lady, maybe she was in the age of 88 years old. And every time we would come and give her the Holy Communion, she would confess her sins and tell us how bad she was in her childhood and how she did many wrong things. And every time we would come on the first Sunday of the month, she would say, repeat the same thing. And then one day I, we came and then I felt the Spirit leading me to um, deliver this mother from, you know, from the doubt of, of, and the guilt in her life. So I came and I said, you know, God loves you. And that is the reason why we come to give you the Holy Communion, so that you can accept Jesus. Jesus can forgive your sins, even your sins of 88 years. It's never too late to make a change. And I thank God this uh, person is no longer with us on this earth. I'm, I'm sure of the assurance of my faith that she's now in heaven. Amen. So that's a blessing. So I, I want to encourage those of you that have um, um, parents that are in an uh, advanced age, those that are in the 80s and 90s. Maybe you have uh, relatives that are really old. family. Anyways, that's the second one. The third one, Pau ang ahitala ofa, ma palomese ay otwa, ito hitapo. Pau ang ahitala ofa, pero ang ahipalomese ay otwa, ito hitapo. The third one is the assurance of the promises of God in His Word. Psalms 19, verses 7 to 8. If anyone uh, finds this uh, psalm, Psalms, Psalms 19, verses 7 to 8. Psalm 19, verses 7 to 8. Psalms 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 19, verses Okay, and it says, The law of Jehovah is perfect, restoring the soul. The testimony of Jehovah is sure, making wise the symbol. The precepts of Jehovah are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of Jehovah is pure, enlightening the eyes. Isn't that a wonderful verse? Amen. That assures us that the word of God is pure and it is reliable for us to believe in. There are many people that are teaching today that the Bible is wrong and it is a heresy. Actually, there's another verse for that uh, accusation. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 16. And it says, all scriptures are God breathed. Mm. Okay, and what's the what's the purpose of bringing this to your hoko here and these strange names? Arabian uh, Hebrew names very strange and sound funny. And some of us, we make fun of it and we think, oh, there's nothing that we can learn from there. Actually, there is a purpose. Even for genealogies that are in the Bible, it has a purpose. Even the names that are there of heroes and people that we haven't seen and have never thought of, it's all in the Bible for a reason. So when we read the Bible, what we are doing there, we are actually opening up to the Spirit of God. So the Spirit of God does the cleansing of our lives through our reading of the Scriptures. 
Another scripture for that is uh, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. It says that the word of God is like a sharp uh, double-edged sword. Sharp double-edged uh, sword. Uh, sword. I go here to talk about mata or mata word. I go back to ta is here to see. It's a folk my good ta in my land here. I go to talk about folk like me. Ke malanga tu o kulabe is here to see. But the way people go kulabe, they go me na hoka ni afi. Faya ki malamala mo hoka ni afi kada kada pe me awa pe go se ko ya o. Kaki fa ita hanyo ki to no no wa. Okay, <laughs> So we need to be assured of the word of God, the promises that is in the word of God. You know, there are great promises in the word of God that many, even many Christians, they doubt those promises. But you know what? If you are a real Christian, you need to base your faith in the book. It doesn't matter whether they give a discovery um, a documentary on the Discovery Channel or the History Channel that is against Jesus. You know, I, I saw, a, I kind of, uh, not watched the whole um, show, but I kind of um, went in and just saw a bit um, of, of this program where they are coming against the Christian faith and questioning the authority of the Bible. You know, and they are not just doing that on the first, uh, 21st century. They did that even the, in the first century. So it is not new to the Church of Christ. The wrong accusation and the wrong blaming that they are doing to us. Hangi ko ni ko ni ni na hanga a kiu se si asio pe ko ka kai lo tu ko ka kai kai ba ama ko ka kai lo tu ko ka kai fa tu ta ma pe ko ha mo ha mo ha mo. Sang pe te bo lo. Na ke ke to fai be amerikan. Na o si fai fo lo be mo ak si asio. Ko ta na ki ba ama ko e a si ve ni ko e mo filim be mo fi to ko fi tu ko e fa la la ama. Ha me na ho ko. Ta me nga o e ba he o lo na e ke si asio. A na ke ke to fai be ke nga si asio ni se tu lo ta ha. Na o si fai be mo ak si asio. So when they come against power of prayer and that is the next assurance is the assurance of prayers being answered assurance of prayers being answered John chapter 15 verse 7 um, if anyone finds the verse, can you please uh, read it out? Can you read it out? Um, John chapter 15, verse 7. It says here, so this is a promise. It says, if you remain in my words, and my words remain in you. What word? The assurance of the word of God is true and pure. So if you are abiding in the word of God, if you have faith in the promises of God, then ask whatever you want and it will be given to you. You see, that's the formula of God. If we formula you, as going to ask you to ask I go formula, the Lama go formula, go about the doing the me ago asi he by bolo, the also go ya, the apply the me ago go ma he by bolo, the call the for, the 
Kokore atu be ha o tari no tai o tu ako iko ha afia mai o tu ako ke tu i ke to i dapu ya ke fai ne o ta mai to i dapu ne o be o ke ha o ki to no no be ke blo i to ba be o ku ta no ka i ha no fa ki to no no be ka go no mo o ni o ku ta tu i he ke fo i po i ni he ko i he ho tu i he ko i fa he ngai ya o ku tu i be na to ke goma ka tu ke goma a ko be o ke he ta o si a si ngai ya ho ni a ngai he to ka de li ni he ko i ngai to ka de li ni Oke na tu ina to ke konga to ida. Hala to fata a ngai fuga mo to wa. Ebe na to o ko mo u ia ke kelesi be. Kelesi be kelesi be hanga la o tu ka si su ia he ka fa ia te ka inga lo tu ia he mea ke. Ko inga ko na u he ka ke balanisi ai fuga mo to wa mo fuga fo o. Ke balanisi ai kelesi mo la. Pa o be ke balanisi. There must be a balance in the way how we preach the gospel of Christ. That there is a focus on the law and focus on the New Testament on the grace, because grace and the law they are there like a um, spotlight that really shines to Jesus. I go do my for God to am now spotlight now pull my kasisu to do my me kama postolo mangai ipseri now pull my kilot pero ki lo e lo e ma ye dama tamo fa ge fa iba kasisu eh abe ahon ni fokia. Gue fa hinga go na tande na te mama ko e at mama ta ha. Ai go foi judgment on me. Do gue fa ye do ku da 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 ku ya han ko po ku la ka gai e ku fu la wa ta ta ku ka ya keres. Ka fi ma wa ya ho ni ke ba nis. Ko bi ko ta ni lo tu ko e o tu a ko ye ko ni ko la ni ki ai. Ko ba ke ta ta ni fu. So if you if you are praying for something and you don't get it there's a reason And the main reason for that is we we are not remaining in the word. Come here, come get that. Do I look? Come here, come look. Do we have to get that? If we now come here, have we solved it? Come here, come get that. No, for for for. If we abide in the word of God, then we pray and we ask God for something. Definitely, He will give it to us. Matthew chapter seven, verse eleven. It says, Jesus gives this uh, illustration. If your son or one of your children asks. For bread, will you give them a stone, or will they ask for a fish, and you give them a snake? No, you will give them the best. So the same thing with um, our heavenly Father. When you pray and you ask something to God, He will give you, and you must believe that God is giving you the best. You know, some of us we believe we prayed and asked God for a scholarship, and then we, and then it was denied, and we think, oh. Man, why did this happen? Just for example, like myself, I was actually believing and having faith to go back to China and continue my master's degree. But then, when I was thinking about that and thinking about ministry in China and all those stuff, it did not happen. And I understood it. You know, I get it. I get what God is trying to say. Then, so God said, "No, enough of China. Now you go back to Tonga. Tonga needs you now." And if God is willing to bring me to America, He will shut the doors and then open new opportunities. But the life of the Christians, what we do, we should never complain. Oh, I eat that. The Lord will be able to get that. Eh, kina Lord wa tuwa fine mo tuwa kesi mo ikon ko mati. Hamie ko hoko. Eh, kaya kung tayo Lord wa. Eh, dahil ko fine mo tuwa na ibe. Kung dahil ko ay ni, dahil ko fata sa ay ni, dahil fine mo tuwa na ibe. Lord tu Lord Lord definitely mau tu aku aku tu aku. Fak kafe tadi ke orang tu aku tu tu aku. Oh baru ni, uha we kaya a kaya a si, ai ai koloa tu mau tu aku. Karena orang sini a Lord tu dah bagi ni koloa tu aku kaya a si. Malah aku definitely mau tu aku habis solo. Ayo me aku info. Oh kita ya. Mau tu kalau tu kita faham. Oh hela iya iya hela tu. Kau nak aku faham me aku nak buat kopi aja. Mana be? Nai ife o tu a. Nai iya ife o tu a. Fimai waktu aku tak hono rotom di kolwa, kau fala nanti. Bebe dah mugi. Sometimes we pray for something, and that's the problem. Because you pray, I pray for something, and we want God to answer our prayers according to what we want. So it's like you are giving God an instruction. You tell God, God, you answer the prayer like this. 
behave, I behave 80, they are behave, they are behave, they are behave. They are manatu, they are behave, or behave, or behave. They are going to behave, they are going to behave, they are behave, they are behave. So, if I go to work, 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 I go I go to work, 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 I go to you will see the blessing. You will see more doors open to you because you are just walking in the will of God. For a fuck you might have done. A good uh, illustration of this is Jonah. Remember Jonah? Mm. Eh? God told him, Jonah, go to Nineveh. Jonah said, Nineveh? Come on, you know Nineveh, I hate those people. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go there. Go to Nineveh. Okay, that's okay, God, I'm going on my own way. I'm not going to do what? I'm in a hope. I'm not going to do what? I'm not going to do what? I'm not The big fish just came and swallowed Jonah. And what happened? Jonah was there for three days and three nights. And that was to teach him a lesson. I got in the lesson. He got to man, I hang up and I don't get it. I'm not, no, I'm not going to go to Nineveh. You don't know the Ninevehs. If I go there, it is a shame for the people of Israel. I will not do this. But okay, continue on your complaining. You, you stay in the stomach of the fish. <laughs> Ask for God's forgiveness and say, God, forgive me. Now I know my transgressions. I know that salvation comes from you alone. And what happened? God said, okay, now you learn your lesson. Okay, fish, go there. For my food, go to my son. To my son, I get to go to the man and the other son. Oh, sorry, I got my food there. So it's the same principle in our life. Many times we pray for things and we try with our own ways to make our prayers answered. But you know what? God is not interested in what we are praying for. He's interested in who we are. Our attitude. Sometimes God doesn't give us the answer because he knows he wants you to be the answer. And that's the most interesting time of the Christian faith. They are looking at our God, they want to see I have a one boy, they are hard, they are hard, they are hard. Oscar Yang, Kata, Otua, hey Otua. If I'm a dad, when I begin the hero, I was hung a hair, Palani, and a mobile. Because Palani, the Otua, when he named the high. Sometimes in our prayer life, God doesn't answer our prayers like what we want, but He always answers every prayer. Okutani, Otua, Otua. No, it's not good for you. I will not allow this for you. And he said, Man, God, I really want this. And God said, No, you cry and cry, but still, no, that's not my will for you. So, anyways, in the Christian life, we need to be assured of our answered, of our prayers being answered. So the formula is remain in the word. In the book, from the book, to the book. The fifth assurance of tonight is the assurance of victory over the devil. Victory over the devil. Luke chapter 10 verses 9, uh, Luke chapter 9 verses 1 and 2. We can uh, quickly turn there. Luke chapter 9, verses 1 and 2. If anyone uh, arrives on this uh, text, please feel free to read it out for us. Yeah. 
Amen. So I look at my Hiva in English, the English version. Can uh, some of uh, one of the yeah? Okay, go ahead. Uh, then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure the heathen. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Amen. So this part uh, of the scripture, Jesus gives the authority to his disciples. And the authority that is given here to the disciples is also the authority that he gives to us Christians. He gives us the authority to, according to the scripture, gave them power and authority to drive out all demons. So, if you do not know, I hope that you will know tonight that you have power over the enemy. It is not, the, the, the enemy is not afraid because it's you, it's not Benzimandoma that he's afraid of, he's afraid of the person that is in Benzimanto. Amen. So when you walk to a place, Joshua chapter 1 verse 3, you are standing on holy ground. Mm. So when you go to a place, you can feel in the atmosphere that the devils are like, you know, like this in the atmosphere. Now think again now. Mark of if you do, we have to go to a place where you go to a place. The other kid of the shark kid, I got a lot of like the layout of the eye. Okay, if you see my other eye, they are going to make it like a world cup kid of a dog boy. Because when they apply them, I love when I see so. But they have all the way up for my guy. But they have to come along and get a fan of all. Because I said, I know he can't get a little bit of a guy. Eh? Because go far for a while, go far be here. Because a lot of a game, a baby out there, a lot of a game. If I am a mother for our money, you see a little for a devil. If I only here, but the lava seal, I got on my daddy for a devil on a pocket lot. And the demand with a show my kid that go, five of a devil on it, what to pull with fear for a blow my hand and telling up, or sat we are two if you are getting the ring of a guy, I can now find no one out. I made a dance in so. That's the key for reaching out to people. We need to cast the devils out. If you make a pussy devil, for a man I find it. ペットキハイレベットだこいろとたまいしそうかばけあるけまはファレこばけとはハイレベットだこいあいあいこひがけでもへこはファレこやこファレこやけたらのあいこファレことはハウデモロチェンドリネフィハハワセダニバインハレ
Amen. So even though people might be criticizing us, making fun of us and our faith, mm. but I tell you, they have no power over you. You are saved. You are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Yes, so therefore, there is no license of the devil. The devil does have, has no right at all to say that you are not worthy. You know, tonight I want to encourage you, live victoriously. Blessing to blessing. We go by faith to faith. So meaning, the wealth of the Christian churches is not based on their possessions or the property of the churches and I'm not against uh, the churches and I'm just saying this I mean from my understanding of the word I'm not against get uh, the or so if the pastor is saying that, so let's just forget about the property of the church. We grow and grow to maturity in Christ. And it comes to a stage that money does not matter anymore to us. Amen. Money or no money, mm. we still praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Going on a car or whatever, van, vehicle, on an aeroplane, you still praise the Lord. Amen. So our life as a Christian is not based on our position. Mm. You know, it is a blessing to get the money and, and, and the possessions, but it comes to a stage in our Christian life that we don't care anymore for this world. And we join together with a chorus that the young people like to sing. They say, goodbye world, goodbye pleasures. I stay no longer with you. I've made up my mind to go God's way for the rest of my life. Amen. So that's the life of a young adult and a youth that have Christ. Can you repeat it? Please. The chorus. The chorus. Okay. Let me <laughs> try to remember it again. I, uh, goodbye world, goodbye world, I stay no longer with you. Mm. I made up my mind to go God's way for the rest of my life. Hallelujah. I repeat it one more time. Goodbye world. Okay, now can you all raise your hands and wave? Hallelujah. Let's all say it together. Goodbye world, I stay no longer with you. I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind. I made up my mind. To go God's way. To go God's way. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we give a big hand to God? So I am confident to say that we Christians are millionaires. And we are not millionaires because of our money and the possession and the you know the goods that we have, but the person that is inside of us. 
deadness that great is for me. That. The Tongue and Hymn Book 565, the, the third verse, it says, Jesus, you are my greatest treasure. When I have you, I have everything. What does that mean? That means that when you have Jesus, you have peace. Whether you stay in a big house or a small house, whether you are given an opportunity to preach or not preach in the church, you are still victorious. Because you are so in love with Jesus. Amen. Perfect. time in the So my money I And I want to encourage that the, the youth, the young adults of this church. Maybe some of you are still single and you are, you know, so worried. Am I gonna be married? Am I going to meet the right person, the right guy, or the, the, the right girl? Let me tell you. That doesn't matter anymore when we come to Jesus. And I'm not saying that I'm against being married. It's what the Bible says that it is also a blessing, you know, to have a family. But the point is, our focus should be on Christ and Christ alone. And when we have that focus in Christ, then He will provide for us. And if God is willing and God knows that you are looking for the right person, God will give you the right person in the right time. But you need to obey and be obedient to Christ. Amen? Amen. And live victoriously. I get a movie fear. We have to have a movie for the fool. The fool will be able to do what you want to do. But the man, I get a movie for the fool. The fool will be able to do the fool. The fool will be able to do the fool. I get a movie fear. Because we are going to have a movie. I get a movie for the fool. Se fica dar o prejuízo a bom bom, com a água bom bom ia formar lo que o coa tem o que faz na água para que o outro está lá, faz feita e ele que confia em via que o outro é bom mal. Please God you are alive. Amen. Eh, eu vou agir com o doutor na e toda a gente que está lá ele não lhe fia no mal. This man married couple they were sharing this this story. The husband is afraid of the wife, so the wife wake up in the morning and tell the husband what to do. Clean the dishes, do the laundry.